And so every process that we do, you talked about packaging for one, but we've also got it for fermentation and brewing. Every process that you've got can have an anticipated yield. So if I put in 100 units, I might get 90 units out, and there it's all based on a percentage, and it's at a an S, it's at a it's at a style and an SKU level. It's really a bit a process level. So if I've got a process of brewing. And if I put in 100 barrels, I expect, actually expect to get 95 barrels out. And on the fermentation, if I put in 100 barrels, I expect to get 85 barrels out. The system understands all of that and takes that into consideration, so it grosses it up using that loss factor. And, and, and if I take it one step further, we've been talking about a finished good or an SKU. This, what we're looking at now, is driving out a requirement for bright beer. You're going to see that in just a second. Um, so that if I'm short of bright beer, uh, it's going to make a suggestion that I create more bright beer. And that's what, what I was talking about, the relationship between any number of SKUs back to a bright beer. So if I open up my bright beer for a second, these are the exact same things we were just seeing. These, are, these happen to be fermentation logs, but these are suggestions to ferment beer. And it's the exact same math. If I scroll down, I'm now on a bright beer item. Now my requirement is coming from packaging, and the system understands the amount of bright beer, including the loss of packaging. So it's grossed it up for that loss. That's one thing it's done. The other thing it's done is when it's suggesting that I ferment something, it's talking in terms that make sense for me. So in my system, I've said for VB IPA Bright, I like to make it 200 barrels at a time. It doesn't make sense for me to be making 32 barrels. Well, I guess it depends on your, your brew size, but it doesn't make sense for me to be making an exact brew size or scheduling an exact brew size uh, or a fermentation size. These are going to be estimates based on the amount you typically get out, and we'll schedule that. And what will actually happen is what you're actually going to get, and we can't control that but we can get you pretty close. 